Hello everyone, welcome to Learning Club. If you are watching this channel for the very first time, I request you don't forget to subscribe our channel. Without any further delay, let us start our today's video. In our today's video, we are going to discuss what is harmonic mean. When we use harmonic mean and examples of how to calculate harmonic mean. It is the last measure uh, which is used to calculate measure of center tendency. Before this harmonic mean, we have uh, discussed arithmetic mean, geometric mean, median and mod. These all five measures are used to calculate measure of center tendency or you can say that these all measure, these all five measures are known as measures of center tendency. Harmonic mean. What is harmonic mean? In order to answer this question, harmonic mean is the reciprocal of arithmetic mean of the reciprocal of the values. It means we have to take reciprocals of the given values, then we have to put in the reciprocal formula of arithmetic mean. In other words, you can say that the earth harmonic mean is the type of numerical average. It is calculated by dividing the number of observations by the reciprocal of each number in the series. Thus, the harmonic mean is the reciprocal of arithmetic mean of the reciprocals. If you if we have x1, x2, x3, x4 up to xn or n observation of variable x, then the harmonic mean denoted by h is defined as h is equal to n over 1 over x1 plus 1 over x2 plus 1 over x3 up to so on 1 over xn. In other words, h is equal to n over summation 1 over xi where i varies from 1 to n. You can see that first we have to take the reciprocal of each values of, of our variable then we have to take the sum and then uh, divided that sum by the total number of values. Now the second question which emerged in our mind is that why we use harmonic mean? when we have geometric mean, arithmetic mean, median or mod. So there is a particular type of question in which we use harmonic mean. Means harmonic means are often used in averaging things like rates. For example, the average travel speed given a duration of several trips. The weighted harmonic mean is used in finance to average multiply like the price earning ratio because it gives equal weight to each data point. As we have discussed in geometric mean and arithmetic mean that when we use geometric mean when we have to calculate rate of change when we are comparing um, a value with it with itself then we use geometric mean and when we use when we want to calculate when we want to take average of uh, rates of travel or speed, then we use harmonic mean. Consider an example. Four typists typed a letter in 4, 5, 8 and 10 minutes. Find out their average time taken to type the letter. According to the definition, first column you can see that we have our x values 4, 5, 8 and 10. In our second value, second column, we have to reciprocal these values of x. So 1 over 4 is equal to 0 0.25, 1 over 5 is equal to 0 0.20, 1 over 8 is equal to 0 0.125, 1 over 10 is equal to 0 0.10. The sum of second column is 0 0.675. As the formula of harmonic mean is equal to n over summation 1 over xi, here in this particular example our n is equal to 4 and summation 1 over xi is equal to 0 0.675. So putting the value, when we put the value and dividing 4 by 0 0.625 we get 
5.93 minutes. It means an 5.93 minutes is the average time taken by a typist to type this particular letter. Harmonic mean for frequency distribution. As we know that in frequency distribution data or in group data, we, we, we replace our n number of values with their respective frequencies and multiply x with their respective frequencies. That's why we replace n with f1 plus f2 plus f3 up to fn and multiply 1 over x with f1, 1 over x2 with f2 and so on, 1 over xn with its respective frequency fn which is equal to summation f over summation f over x. Consider an example. The table given below represents the frequency distribution of ages. First year student, find the harmonic mean given of the given class. You can see that in our first column we have ages 4, 5, 6 and 7. In our second column we have frequencies means number of students 10, 6, 8 and 4. The sum of second column is 28. As in the formula we have to calculate first f over x. So in our next column we have to calculate f over x. 10 divided by 4 is equal to 2.5. 6 divided by 5 is equal to 1.2. 8 divided by 6 is equal to 1.33. 4 divided by 7 is equal to 0 0.57 and the sum of third column is 5.6. As the formula of harmonic mean in the frequency distribution uh, or in group data is equal to summation f over summation f over x, so uh, you can see in the table that we need only these two values. So after putting the values, we have 28 divided by 5.6. 5. The answer is 5. It means the average age in the class is 5. Hope you guys are understanding what we are doing in this particular video. If you if you have any particular question, just comment us below. I will I will try to solve your problem. Thank you for watching the video. In this uh, with this last with this video. We have completed our measures to calculate center tendency. Now we are going to discuss measure of dispersion in which our first video will be about variance and standard deviation. And in that particular video we will discuss what are these two uh, means what is variance and standard deviation, how to calculate them and what is their practical use. I request you all, again, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.